Hey guys, Tony Sui, Sass, Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we have a cigar that I received relatively recent, which is the Placencia TA exclusive Alma de Fuego Cortez. There you go. So I just received this cigar recently from uh, Walking Man Cigar, Walking Man Cigar Roger. And um, this is one cigar that I have talked to Eric a few times because like really it's just another uh, Alma de Fuego but with a different size they're charging $21 for this All right if you take a close look at this cigar right it's uh, I don't know it's kind of e uh it's good looking it's you know the band are uh, uh, much closer to the cigar itself Right now, being a five and three quarter by fifty six Figurado, it's still a Nicaraguan Puro, Puro, however you want to call that. With fifteen hundred boxes made, you know, it's just like, what is the big deal? You know, the cigar itself looks a little raw and beat up in the very beginning, but I doubt that's got to be an issue. And the uh, thing with the little pigtail, it looks more like a sausage tied up at the end than anything so i just smoke it to 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 be sure uh i smoke a few quite a few of the alma del fuego before and just not this size i still prefer the davidoff yamasa and let's see if this one will change my mind okay so let's get started take off the bottom band Nothing crazy, nothing particular smell, not like, it smells like tobacco. Cut the tail off. You know, technically the cap goes pretty deep. Maybe I can cut a little more. Let's see if, if overtime the draw is bad then. Oh, <coughs> if the overtime the draw <coughs> is horrible, I'll cut some more. <coughs> Oh my god, that pepper. Mineral and pepper right away. Mineral and pepper right away. I'm gonna turn on the fan. Oh, that was... <clears throat> that got to my throat right away. A little bit leathery too. Alright. Bah. All right, let's light this up. All right, there's a big pit on it. Oh, you can see a pit on there. So it's gonna take a little bit for me to get even. Earthy, mineral, very, very. A little bit of cinnamon. I think that's what that peppery burn is, cinnamon. Mm. I 
there's a little bit of sweetness and kind of cross with maybe some sort of mixed nut of flavor. But the main notes are earthiness and mineral and wood. And then a little sprinkle of um, cinnamon. Yeah, the retro hell has more of that toasted nut flavor. A little bit of sourness too, just a little bit, very tiny. All right, so let's smoke one third and come right back because um, once you figure out whether or not this thing is any different to even BTA? Be right back. Okay, so we are at one third. I'm gonna show you guys something though, and, and don't take this offensive. First, I got tunnel here. I got tunnel here. Tunnel here. It didn't really bother it. It has tunnel, but that you make the draw pretty good. I usually have draw issues with this because of those tunnel. The draw is actually pretty good. <laughs> I gotta say, it tastes like a normal uh, Alma de Fuego. It, despite it being like the same, I feel like there is a little bit more pungentness to the sweet note and the dry roasted coffee bean notes. So if I didn't mention this already, so I got um, I got a little bit ashy note. I got a little bit of uh, woodsy, mostly mineral and earthiness, and toasted nut, and this dry roasted coffee bean, not actual coffee, coffee bean note, and a little bit of sweetness to go with it. So it's actually a really good cigar. I mean, you know, I can't really complain about that. It's a really good cigar. The difference is that this is twenty one dollars. And I think the Robusto is like 15 and the, 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 the Toro is what? 17, 18? So this is basically a Toro in a Figurado, Figurado form, but charge you 20. One, 21. So that's the time where you gotta say, did this make more impact to justify $21? At this point, no. Because it, it tastes very close, very close to a regular, regular Alma de Fuego, Alma de Fuego, you know, you know, with that, with that Alma Tepet volcano, like inactive volcano, uh, tobacco, and that compared to the Yamasa volcanic to uh, um, tobacco, I still like the Yamasa better because the Alma Tepe one is sweet, the Yamasa one is salty. I don't know, like, you know, maybe some people like the sweet more, some people like the salty more. But I personally like the salty more. So that sweetness had to gra gravitate me into that a little bit more. I think this version, though, that dry roasted coffee bean note really gravitates me today a little bit. It really hits me. It really hates, it hit, hit me well. Like, I want to smoke a little bit more. So, you know, those tunnel doesn't bother me. The sweetness is actually quite nice. Um, before we even go to second, third, I think particularly right now, I think it's similar enough to other one where I can instantly give it an $18 range right now and see if it goes better from there. If it didn't, it stays about the same as any other uh, Ama de Fuego, but we'll start at $18, see if it go up or go down. All right. So second, third, I'll be right back. Two third. All right. So I will say the, the flavor ramped up. Right, but the strength in it, strength stays in medium, flavor ramped up. Uh, there's a little bit more peppery. It's more spicy, more spicy, and you still get that nice roast, dry roast coffee, uh, bean uh, flavor at the at the retro hill. It's actually really sweet. It's really sweet when it goes through, and then you know it ends with a taste of uh, of mineral and earthiness. And 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 
Like cinnamon like taste. Smoke output is pretty good. Draw is pretty good. Um the burn is pretty good too. I think I can raise up to the range of $18 to $19 maybe. $18 to $19. Uh, because this rivals are, are some of the the regular larger size enjoyment level, I think. Um, you know, with the with the flavor ramping up, that's a plus. And um and that's in comparison to other ones that I smoke, like the Robusto size and the Toro size. So I will say this has a little bit of elevation in flavor. So I'll give him a few more bucks uh for that. But we'll see if the laster drops. If last laster the, the, the flavor starts to drop or empty spot or something like that, then that price goes lower. But overall, the the experience are very similar to a normal Alma del Fuego. It's very similar. It's just that when you hold it on your hands, it has a little bit more present because there's a taper to it. A little bit of taper to it. And draw is pretty good. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, you know, if you buy a regular larger size uh Alma del Fuego, you probably have a similar experience. I don't think that changes that much. Okay. So yeah, last third, let's finish up and go to the summary. We'll see if this thing can get up to $21. Be right back. All right, I finished up. So last part has a little bit more of that mineral earthiness, uh, less of everything else. So it wasn't like a ramp up enjoyment. It was more like, yeah, enjoyment. So I'm going to stay with the $18 uh, price tag with this thing. So I think this is $18. It's not too much different. So I still would recommend people to try this one if you want to tr try a different experience and different size and stuff like that. So you can still enjoy the cigar. Um, and I'm pretty sure at $21, you know, some place is going to sell cheaper than the other. So that will be something that you can look forward to. Uh, once you get to the correct price range for you, that's worth it. Then get one and try it. You know, it's, it's a pretty good cigar. Um, I do enjoy it. So let's uh, look at the band. band. The band is pretty much the same with any Alma Fuego. Uh, Alma de Fuego. All right. It's pretty much the same. I, I don't even know what part of it is different other than this. You know, yeah, all the bands are the same. So there's nothing to talk about it. It's pretty much the same thing with, uh, with the different Vitola and added a TAA exclusive band. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this cigar. There's not much I can talk about that has any different experience than uh, a regular uh, Alma de Alfrego. So yeah, I mean, thanks to um, Roger sending me this uh, shape, this particular cigar to, to try because it is, you know, for cigar, sometimes a different shape will bring a significant difference. But for this one, uh, other than a little bit more sweetness in the first two thirds, uh, and that coffee you note is a little bit stronger, it's all pretty much the same. So I wouldn't say that there's a significant difference to this cigar. Uh, the price range up is pretty much because the, the size and how hard it is to roll the cigar, I guess. So uh, if you don't find one, it's, you didn't miss much. You didn't miss much, okay? So that will be it for this uh, cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, and um, share and comment. And if you want to see contents early, we also have membership. If you want to uh, listen to some content, we also have podcasts as well. Uh, make sure to check those out. And also check out uh, uh, Walking Man Cigars channel. He does overviews, pretty cool stuff. Uh, he does a lot of good unboxing videos. If you want to do the unboxing video, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.